A controversial bill is progressing through the state legislature right now. The Senate passed its version of the Parents' Bill of Rights yesterday. It limits talk of gender identity and sexuality in most elementary classrooms. It also pushes school employees to tell parents if their kids start questioning their sexuality or gender identity. In our team coverage tonight, we have reaction from all sides and a closer look at whether the bill will actually become law. Let's start with WFMY News 2's Amber Lake, who talked to a couple people who are following this closely. Some lawmakers believe the bill could endanger some LGBTQ students. Sponsors of the bill believe it's needed in order to help keep parents informed on what children are being taught. Alex Lounsbury is a transgender teen in Forsyth County. He says this bill scares him. As a youth, we don't have the capabilities of doing things ourselves as much. We have to have parents' permission and now knowing that the little bit of possible freedom we do have at school to express ourselves freely and have start growing our personality could be taken away. Lawmakers in at least 23 other states are considering similar bills, constitutional amendments or both. And to think that North Carolina would be treated differently because we care about the mental health and well-being of our children and want our families to talk to each other and to um, provide an environment where parents are supported, notified of their rights and encouraged in figuring out how to use them. That is, that's just not right. The bill now heads to the House. A similar version of this bill passed the state Senate last session, but didn't get a vote in the House. Lawmakers in at least 23 other states, like we said before, are considering similar bills.